Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. And in this video, I want to show you how to add more of these wonderful helmets that have come in with update 1.24. So don't try and do this before 1.24 has gone live because now we have this camouflage helmet, this uh, snow camouflage helmet, this BDU themed camouflage helmet. So basically these are variations on the ballistic helmet of which the normal ones are here. So we want to add some more of these to our server because they look cool, don't they? I'm thinking it enables you to really have like a NATO soldier's outfit and a really different looking Russian um, soldier's outfit, doesn't it? Or Eastern European soldier's outfit. So what do we need to do to add more of these to our server? Well, it's all down to the types.xml file. So what you want to do is you want to go over to your, your um, servers, wherever that might be. This is a Nitrado we're using as an example. So you jump on the web, web interface and then we need to go into the file browser. And then when, when we're in the file browser, you'll see if it's a PlayStation server, you'll see Daisy PS missions. If it's an Xbox server, you'll see Daisy XB missions. If you're on PC, there'll be lots of other files that will just say missions. Then you click on there to go into there. Then if it's a Cherner server, you'll see Cherner's Plus. If it's a Livonia server, you'll see Enoch. If it's some other type of server, you'll see Deer Isle or something else, but you'll probably know what you're doing if you've got one of those installed anyway. So click on the relevant mission. And then when we get into here, this is sort of the root directory of the missions. We want to go into the DB directory, which is this one here. We click on that, and here we go. So there's the types that XML file we want. Now, ideally, what you should really do is download it, make a backup, and then edit it on your local computer then upload it again however i do understand that not everybody can do that you haven't got a laptop or a computer and you've got to do it on a tablet or do it on your phone if you do do it on your phone or a tablet by clicking directly onto the file and editing it in the web browser just be careful take your time it's very easy to make mistakes with this sort of stuff but i would say download it open it up in your favorite text editor of which my one is notepad plus plus highly recommend this if you just do a Google search for Notepad++, you'll find it, download it, install it, because it color codes stuff. And if you make a mistake, for example, if I delete that bracket there, it's fairly easy to see things straight away. Um, it doesn't catch everything, but it will catch a lot of stuff. So what we want to do is when we're in our types that XML, we just want to do a control F and just look for B-A-L-L-I. Believe. <laughs> find all in current document. If we click on the top one, here we go, we'll get to the where they all start so as you can see ballistic helmet underscore bdu and these they're fairly easy to find because they're the military items called clothes but they don't have a tier value um they're only counted in the map there's no, no other things like that so if you want to have more of them and it kind of makes sense they spawn in military locations doesn't it i suppose you could add them to police usage name equals police if you wanted to all we need to do is just add these numbers here so Let's say we went up to 14, put the minimum up to 12. It's not too bad, is it? And then, so we've got the battle dress uniform, the black one we already know about, the desert, here we go, this is another new one. So turn that to 14, the minimum of 12. The green one we already know about, the UN is the blue one, and the woodland, that's the other new one, isn't it? So we go up to 14, for example, go up to 12. Now, if you're new to XML modding and types of XML modding, remember, don't go mad. When we're doing adjustments, we should just be adding a few onto something. If I put in like 140, and people do do this, especially with the guns, they'll go to the M4A1 and go, oh, there's meant to be one on a server. I know, why don't we have a thousand so they'll spawn everywhere? What can in fact happen, and what does happen often when you do do that sort of thing, is that that overwhelms um, the CLE of the, the game. So the CLE is the central loot economy which is the part of Daisy that controls the spawning in and out of all the different items. And if you too, put too much into the game, it, it'll just stop working. And you end up finding stuff everywhere anyway. Because, I mean, Daisy now, vanilla Daisy, it's not that difficult really in terms of finding loot once you get inland and once you're surviving. There's plenty of guns. There's loads of different stuff, isn't there? So you don't have to add too much of something for, for, to make it much easier to find anyway. So, so that's my bit of advice. I often get people send me messages saying, I've added 200 <laughs> AKs to my server and it stopped working. You know, what do I do? So there we go. So as you can see, we've just added a handful each of those, which overall is quite a lot. And then we would then save that. And all we need to do 
is then go back to the directory where the types XML is, upload that one over the top of the existing one, and it will probably just happen anyway. But it may work. It, sometimes it might have a warning say, "Do you want to replace this file?" And then you just restart your server, and then in due course, those extra helmets will start to spawn in, and um, everybody can have a rather natty version of the ballistic helmet. I, I think that's my favourite front at the moment, the camouflage helmet. Although, you know, if we do get a winter map this year, could that be could that be a bit of a hint thinking about it? Having a winter helmet? Or is it sand? It's sand, isn't it? Yeah. It looks white though. What was it in the files? Green de it was desert, wasn't it? Yeah, so it's a desert one. Hmm, interesting. I'm obsessed with finding out what this new map is. But it's very good. So, great for team games, actually, isn't it? Because now you've got really got green, black, blue, white, and then camo for teams if you're doing some sort of deathmatch. Anyway, that's enough from me. Hopefully, you've found this video useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.